Hi guys, welcome to the episode 4 of the series. Let's take a listen to what we're gonna make. So these are the samples we'll be working with. Start by inserting a simpler for the kick sample. The kick will play on every beat. We've got two clap samples here, so load them into a new drum rack. The first clap will hit on the second and fourth beat, but slightly off grid. And now let's also create a nice simple pattern for the other clamp. Moving on to our hats now. We'll start with a basic offbeat pattern. Let's create a nice swing with some off grid hits. Now add another simpler for the right sample. The right will be triggered on every eighth note. Now use sidechain compression to get that pumping effect on the side. And finally, add some parallel compression on the drums.
Alright, on track number 6, we've got our Silent One lead preset. We'll start with a simple 1 over 8 style arpeggio. Duplicate this bar four times. On top of this arpeggio, I'll be adding some longer lead style notes an octave above. Now sidechain this track with the kick. Okay, moving on to our bass track on number 7. We'll start by drawing a 2 bars pattern. Now let's put some reverb on it. Duplicate these bars so we can add a 4 bars progression. Now let's add a nice touch at the end of the second bar. So this was our baseline pattern for the intro. Now let's create another one for the main part of our track. We'll start with the 3 16th pattern. Duplicate this bar four times. Now create a nice ascending progression towards A sharp.
Add some small touches at the end of the first and fourth bar for a better transition. Now just double the notes from the last beat of the first and third bar. Let's do something similar for the second and fourth bar, but with sixteenth notes. Now we'll create another baseline pattern for our breakdown. We'll just extend the length of the first note from every bar. Now let's add an organ preset from the piano and keys folder. Just copy and paste the MIDI clip from the bass line and transpose it down one octave. We'll do the same for the main baseline pattern. Now add a chord effect on this track and set it to plus 7 semitones. This will give our bass line that deep house organ texture. Now let's add a new drum rack for our vocals.
The vocals will play a simple offbeat pattern. Add some reverb on them. And finally, let's add a simple delay effect. That's it for this episode. See you in the next one.